just a quick video here to show you my Scrap Mechanic 3D printer. Yeah, okay, it prints cylinders. But what I'm using it for is to print towers. And I can just let it run, right? It's got a box full of uh, concrete. Uh, the uh, controller that runs it around in circles has to run kind of slow because you need the uh, the cycle time on the uh, on the actual vacuum pump outputting the blocks. Um, everything else is uh, set here. This is actually just set manually. Right now it's set at four. You can see that most of the place is actually at four. There, just print another one. It tends to not do perfect circles. It tends to do things. I don't know, kind of almost organically. Well, let's go over here real quick and take a look at the uh, tower that I've made so far. This is made out of three sections. You see it's got these interesting uh, cutouts and stuff in it. And inside, I've put in a uh, circular staircase. Um, and the one thing that you have to do is you have to make sure, like, near the top of each of the print sections, uh, that you weld it all together. Otherwise, you could end up with uh, just a couple of chunks <laughs> that are... Uh, discrete, you know, half cylinders or something. So once it gets to the point where this is almost all done, I'll take it and I'll put it up another couple of layers. So let's do that now. You can see every now and then you get a, uh, a block that prints down a little bit. In general, it works pretty good. Uh, and I don't have to worry about it, right? Once I start it off, I go over here, and it's just still running. As long as I'm in the block where uh, my camp is, uh, I'm good to go. So. That's my uh, scrap mechanic 3D printer. I'm just kind of seeing how high a tower I can print. 